Hi guys, John here. And Jack. Welcome back to another icy day out here at the island. Yeah, so uh, nature has blessed us with a bit of this uh, white stuff, which I mean is a uh, questionable joy. <laughs> no, it's I nice. It. Yeah, I love it's it. Beautiful. I love it. Um, but it does have its sides. But um, yeah, anyway, so what we're going to be doing today is uh, actually something we've kind of put off doing, um, yep. which is a bit interesting, I guess. So we're going to be installing poly to the bottom of the boat, some uh, UHMW, and that's because we need more slip. Yeah, so basically, uh, the, the troubles we're having is uh, uh, the bottom of the boat gets wet, and then it gets snow on it, and then it doesn't really slide at all. And you kind of have to jump it forward. Uh, I mean, it's got plenty of power, so when it gets going, it's not an issue, but getting out on the water, out of the water onto snowy ice has proved to be difficult. So for example, um, you see here, usually what we do is we put the boat in the water here, and then we back it up, and then we just, gun it because then we have enough speed to just kind of go plonk um, but we have actually kind of sank down twice properly and had to do that reverse maneuver and stuff and we don't want to do that anymore no because what happens the ice and the snow the snow melts with the water and it just ends up getting clogged on the bottom of the boat yeah. and you just don't have as much glide as you want so yeah. so that's what we're going to fix with the poly usually you have to carry the boat up but today we can just do this Right, we can't get through this. <laughs> um, oh, that's no good. It's a pain in the bum going through. Do we? Don't do it. You have to go all the way around. <laughs> So as, as you see, it's it, it, it does slide, just not very well. Yeah, <laughs> not a dry runner at this rate. Right? There's a bunch of ice on it. I kind of want to get that off before we start working on it. Yeah. <laughs> you can see that when you get out of the water and hit the snow, it just becomes this big block of ice and it just doesn't slide very well. No. Nah. You just have to get rid of it. I mean, you can do it, but we found it to be a little bit irritating or uh, just the risk of getting stuck, you don't want that happening. No. Nah. A bunch of kilos there. <laughs> yeah, over we go. Nice. Also, uh, last episode we made this fix, and um, we had it's yeah, it's been working great. I think we had like one rivet that was slightly like not angled correctly, so it was a bit leaky around that one thing. But that's definitely not an issue now, because it's frozen. <laughs> but it is fixed, so that's good. I can go retitle that video now to how to fix a boat. <laughs> Here you can see uh, the uh, how to fix an electric motor uh, video in progress. Uh, but we kind of, uh, we'll be continuing that some other time, because right now it's more important to get the airboat to work since the lake is frozen. <laughs> So this is the stuff, it is two mil uh, polyplastic uh, and uh, we picked up two sheets but I think we're only gonna need one to cover the boat, so that's nice. Yeah, we got the two mil because it's enough for what we need it for. Yeah, and it's flexible so it's easy to work with. Yep. Um, also, we haven't put this, if you're wondering why we haven't done this before because this is like an airboat standard, it's A because <laughs> oh, sorry about that, yeah. I just had to do that. <laughs> just to show off. 171 centimeters of basketball player here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, um, so A, there's not many days out there like this where it's snow and ice and you kind of sink down and you get, have to get yeah. back up and sink down and it's just, you know, not sliding real well. And then number two, we don't really want to put more microplastics in the lake, but that's about it. Look at that. Look at, that's like made for this boat. It's like a bought one. <laughs> like a bought one. Um, question, it doesn't have to go that high up. That's enough if you get No, that. we got, we sure have got plenty to be mucking around with. Look, I mean, so what, there's a few different ways that we could do this. Um, 
there's going to be a fair bit of force on it. So um, maybe if we put it up like this high, we can put a piece of aluminium on the outside, which is riveted through, which is um, going to hold plenty for the whole poly sheet going that way. If you watched our last video where we repaired the boat, uh, you had to use your, your, your hand crank drill, wherever that is, here it is. And good news, you're gonna have to use it again because- I understood that. We've still got our tools at the other project. No. Don't you remember what happened to We the blew up the drill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a dead, that is a dead Makita. <laughs> All so, right, well, no aluminium. No aluminium. Let's just rivets. Plan Z. Rivets, rivets. Okay. Let's so we thought like we're rather pretty, straight. Pretty happy with that. That's about 10 mil there. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, 20, yeah, 20. And well, that just went, <laughs> it went real good. I tell you what, get something, put a, put a weight on that at yeah, the yeah. back. Trusty tools. Trusty tools. These are the ones where you're going. Yeah, that's the one where we want to borrow something from our neighbours. <laughs> so, why not make some holes in this boat? Yay, more holes. Yeah, holes in the hole. We'll measure this one out here. <laughs> <laughs> Plan your work. Actually, I just want to... I might actually I might actually measure this. So that's 87 mil off the side. It's about the same as six feet <laughs> and this one's how many hole how many holes are we going to be doing because this is going to take a while so you want to go stand on the boat again Oops. no i don't have to yay first river <laughs> look at that this is going to be slipperier than a i don't know an icy lake yeah <laughs> Bang. All right. Hooray. Nice this is line. actually kind of exciting because, I mean, it's it's done well without this. I this... mean, 80 km an hour top speed, it has gotten us over the lake every single time without getting seriously stuck ever. And now this, which is right, and nice and half. slippery. 30. For all you Americans out there, 10 centimeters is probably about the four inches. The size of a Big Mac. <laughs> one there, one there, one there. I'm gonna try and get this stuff to sit down a bit. Or well, maybe you can start doing the riveting then, or if you want to drill. Yeah, yeah. I did my kids. I did. I did drilling like this as a kid, as you heard in the other video. Um, yeah. So it's, it's your turn now. No, I'll happily do the rivets. <laughs> you can feel it it's becoming malleable. Yeah. Nice. Well, we've uh, set up a time lapse and we'll keep going here. So check yeah. back in in a while. Yeah. See you guys. You're getting the big guns out, are you? Man. <laughs> Everyone needs one of these. Quality. Um, made in Poland, a PWW13. That's a VIS. It's a machine. That's a big, um, big chuck on that. All right, let's give this a go. It's a <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Straight through. Nice. I, I like that. It's, it's bigger. It's easy to use. Right, so we've done the first two rows of rivets down the middle. It's starting to look uh, like something. Now we're overlapping the second sheet. Yeah. It's looking good. Yeah, so the first two lines are Looking done. sharp. Right down the middle, all the way back. So now we're gonna do, I'm gonna do, yeah, just the outside, right? That should be enough. So we're having, having to cut the edge here to make it to sit properly. We're just doing that with a knife and it seems to be... Getting all the way there, yeah. Working all right. Um, so this boat has like a bit of an edge on it and uh, to make the waterproof rivets, rivets waterproof, they have to sit flush. So we're cutting it.
looking good. Um, we've got the last bit to do here, so we're just gonna round it off and probably go about 100 mil up the boat and then uh, cut the edges off and we'll be uh, getting towards the end of things. Yeah, hopefully. Righty. Well, 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 we're ready to- It's done. Pick so up the bits and uh, pieces and um, yeah. head out onto the, the lake. I think um, it's pitch black, so. I think we might be doing the filming tomorrow. Yeah. But uh, we have we, to go and pick some people up on the other side though. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's yeah. gonna be tested by then. Yep. Which will be uh, really interesting, we'll let you know. And we'll also show you the rest of it tomorrow. Cool. See you then.